Hey there, fellas. What can I say here? About this yellow project car, it looks like... We've been putting this one off for too long. We couldn't find the time to work on it. It has been sitting here taking up space. We should really do something about that. So today our main goal is to get this car to look like a car, make it roadworthy, basically get it out of the shed and go for a test drive. There is, of course, a slight risk that this thing might get us into trouble. What I mean by that is that if we get pulled over, the documents do say that it's a lot of... But no worries. We do have some license plates, a VIN number, so yeah, we've got pretty much everything we need. Right, I say we throw it all together, then we head out and go for a drive, see what comes out of all of this. Let's do this. Lada based Porsche. First drive. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, fellas, we are looking good here. The car was able to make it here under its own power, even though it did take a while. Regardless, it made it to the test track. Nothing even fell off on the way here. Nothing broke. Now I suggest we drive around a bit. So the car itself is actually very light. Too much so, as a matter of fact. We'll be fitting a race logic device. It's just that we're curious to see how fast this car gets up to 62 miles an hour on the 800cc turbo engine it's currently running. Over there we've got a nice straight patch of road. But first we'll be driving around right here to get a feel for the thing. We already had to do some slight toe adjustments to try to get rid of that screeching noise we heard on the way here. The point is that we had to do some fine-tuning prior to going out and having fun. Anyways, so we've dialed it in a bit. Now let's go see how this thing behaves. And try to get a feel for its driving dynamics. Let's do this.
All right, let's do this. At least it drives. This is nice. I mean, oh my god. The imperfections in the pavement are really upsetting the car. The car itself is very, very light. Check this out. The suspension isn't working properly. The springs are just too stiff. And as a result, every crack and every bump is beating up that suspension. Which simply isn't doing its job. That's not good. We need some softer springs. Turning the wheel is also quite challenging. Without any power assistance. Especially given the width of the tires. But I can handle it. It does accelerate. Maybe I should try going sideways. <laughs> that was fun. Holy shit. All right. That's ours? Great, it's falling apart. That's nice. I like that. Let's have a look at the results. Oh, great. We didn't even get it up to 62. I'm not gonna lie. I think it got up to about 50. It took 8 seconds to get to 40. Now that's pretty wild. We're looking at a solid result now, aren't we? You did see how everything in here was shaking. So it's not a lot of fun to drive. We need to do something about that suspension. Also, that 800cc turbo engine with only 65 horsepower is just too weak. Then again, the car doesn't weigh all that much. In any case, I'd still like for this thing to be a lot faster than it is. And also softer. Otherwise, road conditions can become an issue. By which I mean the bumps and the cracks in the pavement. And I am not aware of any ideal tarmac nearby. Honestly, it is getting harder to come by nowadays. All right, fellas, we've driven around a bit, and yeah, if you were to look at the car from about 10 meters away, it actually does look like a proper Porsche, though the wheels are tucked in a bit too far. You can't expect any serious results with such a small motor. I couldn't even get it up to 62 miles an hour. Again, the car is underpowered, and the weight is also sort of a problem. The car is very light. Given that we did remove all of the lot of components, all that's really left is the underbody and the rocker panels. Everything else in here is Porsche. All in all, there's really not a lot in here. This here is plastic. So yeah, it's incredibly light. We've cut the springs, so the suspension is even stiffer now. It actually feels like we don't have any springs at all. Basically, the suspension isn't even working. We're gonna need some softer springs for all of this to work. Just to keep the driver from flying all over the cabin. I mean, even these small cracks, they hit you really hard. That's not to mention that it's quite a handful to drive. Anyway, fellas, this car is still very much a work in progress. Though at least it looks like an actual Porsche. You guys let us know if you're interested to see us carry on modifying the body. 
And the suspension, of course. Hopefully we'll finish the interior, too. And get the car looking nice and clean. All right, that's it for the test drive. And that's all I have for you. Watch our videos. And let us know if you want to see more. Give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe, send us some suggestions. All right, catch you later.